Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the temperature sensor on your Garmin Instinct watch. Uh, I like to mention I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar non-tactical version. Uh, this video should be fine for you even if you've got one of the non-solar models, whether tactical or not tactical. I also like to mention I'm using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So um, one of my favorite features on the watch is the temperature um, setting, temperature sensor where you can basically see the high and low temperature as well as the current temperature. Now there's some different ways to get to this. The most easy uh, way, I've got some videos out there that show you how to add it to your widgets. And that's what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to press the ABC button and I've got it set as my very first widget. So you'll see 92 is the high in the last four hours and 71 is the low in the last four hours, which is really way off. Um, the one thing I'll say about the temperature widget, and this is where a lot of people don't like it, is you get some really invalid readings because of the fact that it's sitting on your wrist. So for example, right now it's saying that the temperature is 71, uh, which is pretty, pretty accurate in here. I've got a, a thermometer sitting right here next to me, and the actual temperature is 66. So it's really pretty close, but it's a little bit off because of my, um, again, because of the heat from your wrist. If you want to get an accurate reading on the temperature sensor, the best thing to do is to take the watch off and let it sit and start reading the temperature without being on your wrist. And I'm going to do that now. It's fairly cold outside, so let's go outside, take the watch off my wrist, and let's see what happens to the temperature. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm now outside, and let's see if the temperature drops. Now, I've got it on my wrist. I'm going to take it off. Now, the one thing I'll say on this is you should start seeing it adjust pretty much immediately. Let's just, uh, let's see, how can I set it where you guys can see it? Because the watch updates in real time, we should see an adjustment fairly quick. If you've got the watch in battery saver mode and you've got your screen display uh, set to adjust, every minute you'll see a, um, you won't see as quite of an update, as quick as an update as if you don't. If you're just wearing the watch in non-battery uh, saver mode, you should see it update pretty much immediately. And you can see the temperature is dropping. Everything I've read basically says if you want to get a temperature reading, take it off your wrist, sit it outside, or sit it down wherever you want to get the reading. Wait about five minutes and you should be accurate. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to pause this video. Maybe I'll let it run a few more seconds so you can see it drop. And then we'll come back in five minutes and we'll take a look at what the reading is out here. And that's what's great. There's some watches like the Casio uh, G-Shock, some of the Protrex that have uh, thermometer sensors. You can't see the temperature actually drop. It does like an update every minute or so. With the Garmin Instinct, that's not the case. We can sit there and actually watch the temperature drop as long as it's on that screen. So I'm gonna pause this, we'll come back in five minutes and we'll take a look at what the temperature shows. Okay, so I'm back and it's been exactly five minutes. The temperature has dropped down to 48 degrees. I was reading on the uh, Garmin website, it actually recommends 20 to 30 minutes is what you would wanna uh, take the watch off, let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes to get an accurate reading. And I'll say that, that seems to be about right. Uh, after five minutes, it dropped down to 48. According to my cell phone and my thermometer, which is outside, it should get to about 38, 39 degrees, uh, and then it should stop and we should have an accurate temperature reading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and uh, we'll revisit it after the 20 minute recommendation that Garmin says, and we'll see what the temperature shows. Okay, everybody, so it's been 15 minutes exactly. I was gonna wait 20 to 30 like the recommended on Garmin site, but 15 minutes after taking it off of my wrist from coming in from, uh, coming outside from inside, my temperature reading is accurate. Uh, it's 38 degrees out here, and that matches what my cell phone says, and that matches what my outdoor uh, thermometer says as well. So if you wanna get an accurate temperature reading, uh, this watch works extremely well. Just remember, take it off your wrist, let it sit for a while, so that you're not getting any uh, heat from your wrist to skew the numbers and you'll get an accurate temperature reading. As always, I hope this helps. Let me know if you got any questions. Thanks for watching.